was saying in the first video, this is the eight pound version. You do almost the same thing, but when you have both of them, you turn it into a 20 pound version. But the conditioning that you can get from this is crazy. And every dude, I, 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 matter of fact, I would love for the dudes that have come to my house and tried this. Give your opinion, speak on it. Tell them how it was. Especially the dudes talking crap about it. Like they're superhuman or something. Apply it, you know, whatever. What was else I'm supposed to be showing you? Again, this, let me show you this once again. This is the iron arm. It's called the iron arm. You see that? See this little closing and opening mechanism? Where it just causes you to build up a tolerance to pain. You're supposed to stand there and hit yourself with it so you can take and absorb blocks. I've been using it on my stomach and it's breaking up some fat deposits. My abs are sick. I'm a giggle. I'm alright. If anybody's concerned, but my abs are just going through it. They are just so sick. <laughs> they are like nauseous every day and throwing out. They make other people sick. <laughs> But um, this is the ultimate burn machine. Let me show you the other ones first. The intermediate. This is the 20 pound version. You can kind of use them this way. You can, it's the same thing. There's a four pound counterweight in the middle. And I like to get turns on. Builds up a lot of endurance. And you have all these just different ways of turning them, where once you condition yourself to do all those type of movements, you actually become stronger than somebody that doesn't. You're more adept at pulling yourself up or getting into a certain angle using those items. I'm only recommending them because I use them. This is the ultimate burn machine. When it comes, it comes with these moon-shaped, crescent-shaped uh, plates on them. Oh, let me show you something. took these off and I added two 10 pounds and a two and a half, two 10 pounds and a two and a half, and a four pound and four pound, and this thing is 24 pounds in itself. So that's 24, 26, so that's like 26 on each side plus a 25 pound bar. Boom. Now I'm going to try and do a little quick rep out with this and get some reps off. Just so you can see, the other thing I need to explain to you is, um, because of the counterweight on this and the way it's designed, it feels like it's maybe double its actual weight. Uh, any of the dudes that have come to my house and tried to curl this and curl it, you're going to get like more strain, more in, it just tears you up more. It's, a, it's more difficult than just a normal 60, 70 pound dumbbell or a barbell for that matter. I'm going to show you right now in a second. So as I catch some money, I don't know about the curls and be out. Oh, wait, let me show you one more thing. My war bat. You see this, motherfucker? <laughs> you still you see this? It's a collector's item. I keep saying that. It's, it's collectors. It's, you know, you don't have to like violate one of my family members for me to think about using this on you. But I will use it on your car. I will put some holes in the hood <laughs> and put them tiles out. But I've been also practicing with how to use this, how to keep it away, how to strike without not harming yourself. And it's a hobby. It's a hobby. I like it. <sighs> I like it. <laughs> Cause that's my daughter with the garbs on now. <laughs> she has the Kung Fu wings, the meditation beads, and the war mallet. Not very similar. Not very similar right now. <laughs> okay. If I missed anything, I'll just cover it in another video. I'll talk about the bamboo pose in a second. Right now, I need you to give me some music so I can just do these curls. And I'm going to get these popping a little something. Now we're going to get up to the top. 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 We're going to get up to the
Okay. 